the Masters Hall of Fame World News. My name is Michelle Manu, and today we're joined by Rob Davidson. Rob, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me on the show, Michelle. Oh, we're so excited. Uh, Rob's visiting uh, from Indiana for a couple mm -hmm. days, and we're going to have a casting call here at the Shu Khan uh, Martial Arts Center in Costa Mesa. So I want to just jump right into the movie. Uh, you are the author and producer. Mm -hmm. I wrote of, it. I'm yeah, producing it. Yeah, The Ultimate Throwdown. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about the premise of the movie? Yeah, it's a, an action horror film. It's the old, going to be the old 80s style film. Very cool. No CGI's. What you see is what is really being done. And I just wanted to bring back that type of old time movie again. Well, I think we're, you know, a lot of people want to see that, that quality without wires and special effects. Like, right. Yeah. Very that's, cool. That's the kind of movie I like to watch. You know, something that's really actually being done. Mm -hmm. Nothing that's generated with a computer or anything like that. Well, you've, you, you mentioned you blended martial arts and horror. What drew you to add horror to the martial arts? Well, I started out doing an action, writing an action film. And I got the love of the films back in 79. I was still in high school. Mm -hmm. And Force of One came out with Bill Wallace and Chuck Norris. Of course. Well, with Bill being, Bill's from Portland, Indiana, same town I'm from. So they made a big deal about it when it, sure, why should it came they? out. Yeah. And I went to watch that, and I was just hooked from that moment on. You know, Bill being from Portland, mm -hmm. I thought, wow, you know. And from, I just was a fan of that ever since. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's a lot of characters in this movie, uh, but the main star would be Bill Superfoot Wallace. Mm -hmm. Could you um, tell the audience a little bit about some of the other main characters in the movie that you've written in and, and the depth of those characters? Okay, I've got Bill Wallace playing uh, Captain Jim Tyler. Mm -hmm. He is the boss of the, the special task force of the U.S. Marshals. And I've got Robert Mukes on the horror side of it. He's a horror icon. He was in the House of a Thousand Corpses, mm -hmm. Rob Zombie film. He's the big guy that plays the... Like how big? He's six, I think he's either 6'10 or 6'11. Isn't that amazing? He's a big boy. <laughs> and he gets, we get a fight in. And uh, I've got uh, Goldie Mack. He's playing U.S. Marshal Drake Evans. Oh, I like that. He's name. on the task force. Mm -hmm. and then Jeff Mead, he's, he's in the film. And then I, of course, play Matt Cooper, the lead. I'm kind of the leader of the special unit, but oh, Bill Marshall. is the overall boss. Mm -hmm. And then we have one more, U.S. Officer <laughs> Kim Kahola. Kaloha. Uh, uh, Kaloha. <laughs> <K> <laughs> that's okay. Well, I'm having trouble with the uh, name. That's okay. And who's playing this Kim Kaloha? I think it's a girl named Michelle Mon. <laughs> Well, you know, after sitting just yesterday with Rob, I can say there's gonna our blooper reel is gonna be really funny and oh, it'll be hilarious. I don't know, we just click, and I think it's gonna come off on camera. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we started play fighting at Mel's Diner's <laughs> party lot yesterday in Hollywood. Everybody's going. He starts to throw a backhand, and I start to throw a front <laughs> snap kick. And I hope that Getting rehearsals in. Yeah, early. you know that it's just fun. I hope that that can be translated into uh, the movie. Mm -hmm. Because people will pick up on that. Yeah, and then the mob boss is played by my good friend, Jim Thomas. Oh, he plays, Jim Thomas. He plays Carmine Rossetti. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think I put together a pretty good, I pretty much handpicked the main cast. Mm -hmm. And everybody that's read the script loves it. They're on board mm -hmm. behind it 100%, and we're just all anxious to get started on it. Now, is the script pretty much inflexible and do as you read, or will you allow for some improvisation between Oh, absolutely. The That'll be a lot of that done. That's what makes a movie good is mm -hmm. when you get there, something else will work better than what's written. Mm -hmm. And whatever works the best is what we're going to use. That's so exciting. And you're going to allow us to show our, our native arts, the ones we study right. in real I'm life. Right. I'm going to blend in what everybody's good at. In, in the film, so. I think that will also translate. It's going to be a great film. So, um, you know, I wanted to know a little bit about the location um, that you're thinking of where you want to film. It's not going to be a local so Southern California. Right. Uh, Initially, project. I was going to film it all in Indiana. Mm -hmm. But then um, Jim 
Jim has been very instrumental in helping. And you're me referring to Jim Thomas. Yeah, Jim yeah. Thomas. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been talking about doing some of it in New Mexico around the Berlin yeah, area. Yeah. And I think we'll probably shoot some in Berlin, some in Indiana, because because of the horror side of it, it's in a it ends up in like a uh, closed down campground, and I've got that location pretty well secure. Excellent. So. The horror side of it isn't so much the blood and guts you see in horror films today, although this film has some of that in it. Mm -hmm. This is the mainly the stuff that jumps out and scares you. I see. So like suspenseful. Yeah. Okay. But, but Not so much chain. <laughs> right. It's, it's not just a bunch of blood and guts yeah. thrown out there for no reason. It's the stuff that jumps out and really keeps you glued to your seat, mm -hmm. makes you jump when you see it. Well, that's just exciting. I think there's going to be a level of comedy, too. If you can mix all of the martial arts action, the horror, and the comedy, I think it's going to be pretty Yeah, amazing. and there's a lot of comedic relief in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, you know, the star of the show, like we said, is, uh, you know, Bill Superfoot Wallace. I was wondering if you might share with the audience maybe a funny story between you and Bill, or just about Bill. Give uh, us some insight about Mr. Superfoot. Well, the, I've got a couple. One, I can't tell. <laughs> Hi, Bill. <laughs> but now there was this one time, me and my son, Jim Thomas and Bill, we was at a steak and shake. Mm -hmm. Bill Where, in Indiana? In Indi okay. Yeah, we was in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Bill was going in, and me and Jim got to make it fun of him, because Bill's got kind of a unique walk. <laughs> and he got mad with himself. So <laughs> but he finally did, but... Uh -huh. I mean, he's a, he's a jokester too, and he took it all in stride, but he did get a little upset. <laughs> oh, how funny. Sensitive superfoot. That's interesting. <laughs> but Bill is the nicest, most down to earth super guy that you would ever want to meet. He sure sounds like it. I so, haven't had the pleasure of meeting I mean, him. He's, but... His next name is Superfoot, but it could be super hard too, because mm -hmm. he is just awesome. That's wonderful. Well, you know, what does the filming schedule look like now? Do you have anticipated Well, it, it's date? looking like it might be late spring, early summer. Okay. So. Excellent. It's look, everything's really coming together and really coming to right on track. Because I've done all of this mm -hmm. from Portland, Indiana. I mean, I'm, this matter of fact, this is my first trip to California. I don't know. Can you so believe that, everyone? It's <laughs> not, it's not, you know, it's not the typical Hollywood Film everybody right. that I've got's down to earth, and we're just doing what we love. Doing what we love. Working well together. That's right. Mm -hmm. And no BS. No lying about things. I mean, right. people tend to. You know, right. Everybody's business. down to earth. They're yeah. the real deal. They, they are who they say they are. They don't brag about their self. They don't try to make their self something they're not. By people they know. And that that kind of stuff just turns me off. Mm -hmm. I got it. So are there any surprises that you can share with us about the movie or changes in the script that you'll anticipate? Anything that might be a surprise that you haven't disclosed yet? Uh, what I can say is there's a lot of action, mm -hmm. a lot of fighting, a lot of good horror, uh, explosions. It's a, and it's done with a twist. It gets in the mind of, the, of my character. Mm. It's not just a cop, you know, going right. out. He has issues at home. Who doesn't? <laughs> that's right. Right. I tried to make this, you know, like really real life. Because people have, in real life, have problems and deal with issues. Yes. So I, I kind of wrote that into my character because I knew how, how I wanted to show that. Mm -hmm. So I'll know how to put that on the screen when I do it. Mm -hmm. And it will be relatable. Relatable, yeah. Definitely. And some of it is kind of true. True to real life, because mm. my son, Kyle, he plays Kip in the movie, and he's an up-and-coming cage fighter, which he yeah. cage fights in real life, and he's got an eight and four record right now. That's fantastic. And uh, oh, and Dan Severin, he's in the movie, and it just so happens he plays the uh, the kind of not really corrupt, but the bad fight trainer oh, of the guy. Oh, like the promoter. The promoter. Uh, well, no, he, he's the, the trainer he's of the trainer. fighter okay. that my son has, has to, to fight, fight. Okay. in the very beginning of the movie. And this all sets up the movie. Interesting. Well, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure we're all on the edge of our seats already. And so there's a there's a trailer out right now. Will you be doing a follow up trailer, or we're just gonna go ahead and shoot? Uh, we might do a follow up second, trailer, but yeah, we may just two. the way things are going now with their, the budget and everything, we may just start, roll into full production. How exciting! Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience before we uh, say goodbye? Uh, I can't think of anything offhand, but I know as soon as we say rap, I will. But, <laughs> but it's going to be a great movie. Uh, it's got a lot of a lot of cross genre, everything that a lot of young and old would like to see, mm -hmm. and it'll. I think it'll be a movie not to miss. Well, there'll be American Muscle in it, right? That's right. Yay! Girls loves her American Muscle. Chase scene uh, with an old. I think we're going to use that old '79 Camaro. Can I drive? Can I drive? <laughs> I think this scene that Kim does drive. <laughs> this is excellent. Well, you know, while, while we wrap this up, I wanted you to give a little bit of your opinion of this um, weather, since it's 80 degrees difference from oh, where my. you were. Yeah, um, when I left Tuesday morning to fly out here, it was five below zero. Without and the wind. Without the wind. And then when I get off the plane here, it's in the 70s and 80s, and it's like, wow. <laughs> I could definitely get used to this. Well, thank you for being here, Bob. Thank you for having me, Michelle. I hope my to see pleasure. you back here in Southern California I will. again. I plan on coming back real soon. Mm -hmm. Would you uh, go ahead and give your information if they, if our audience wanted to contact you about the movie, or about or to you personally? Um, would you give them your Facebook name? Oh, yeah, it's Rob Davidson mm -hmm. on Facebook. Uh, there's a movie page, The Ultimate Throwdown, on Facebook, and uh, my email is final underscore throwdown dot at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Well, there you have it. Exciting Rob Davidson talking about the final throwdown. And if you'd like to reach Rob through our show, you can write to us at worldnews at mastershalloffame.org. And thank you for joining us today. And this is Michelle Manu, and we'll see you next time.